Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and today we are going to take a look at the top three at last year's Mr. Olympia event. And if these guys had it their way, this would be the top three at this year's Mr. Olympia event as well. You gotta face it guys, there is not a strong possibility, but there is definitely a possibility that Phil Heath will come in looking terrible. You never know, guys. It's been a couple of years now, and to get back there on stage, I mean, there's one thing to look like you're in shape, but if you're not in cardiovascular, things of that nature, and used to the audience, you could fade away, and it is possible, guys, that him and Big Rammy might not even be in the top three. This could very well be your top three. And judging by these pictures, we can plainly see what certain guys need and what certain guys need to maintain to win this one and rated right of the shoot guys bonak is a strong third place here he lacks i don't know if you want to say conditioning he lacks muscle separation in the abs that's a big thing there i mean that's an aesthetic thing that goes way back to eugene sandow i mean the muscle separation in the abs and hattie Schupin is the uh, strongest member of that party, I guess you could say. So as a whole, guys, I would go ahead and say Hattie Schupin and Bonak are battling for first place here in the, the front relaxed position, and Bonak trailing behind in third. It's a shame. I do like Bonak, guys. I'm not dogging on him. Front double bicep pose. And in these comparisons, I was surprised just how tall Brandon Curry is. I mean, he is listed not that much, if any, taller than William Bonac, but it's plain to see as they stand here. Bonac, clearly the shortest, much shorter than Hattie Schupin. And I was surprised at that. And I have to say, guys, judging from, from the first couple of poses, first couple of pictures, William Bonac not looking good for him at all. And I can honestly see, now this is just going by the first couple of shots, I can see why Brandon Curry was the Olympia champion. Is he in the best condition? Mm, I don't know how he might be. But he seems to be the biggest. Hey, maybe he's stepping forward. Maybe he's crossed the line. We'll never know. Anyway, let's go through the rest of these poses. We have the front lat spread, of course. Not unlike the first couple of comparisons. Bonac trails behind in a strong third a strong pose for sure for Brandon Curry but a very strong pose for Hattie Schupin and his his lats much more Dorian-esque he's got a better set of legs than Curry he's got a better midsection he's got better lats he's winning this one I would say with ease he's winning this one and Curry Curry in a strong second place here because he looks fantastic. Let's face it, well, this is one of the best of the modern, or the current front lat spreads in the IFBB. The IFBB has to offer. Let's go uh, roll through these. And the side chest department, guys. Curry had to have been stepping forward. Come on. Look at the size of him. He's a foot taller than Bonac. Bonac looks very small here. I think he came in very lean. I believe there was something going on with him. He was, I don't know if it was an injury, something. But anyway, guys, much, much down in size. Plus, like I said, I think he's, I think Curry's stepping forward. Curry's so big that by default, I guess I would give him the win over Hattie Schupin because, you know, everything's equal, right? Hattie looks fantastic. So again, I would say a strong second place and ugh, poor, poor Bonac. Poor William Bonac. Can he bounce back? And back is the the word because he probably has the best back development. I love you too. In the glutes, he is uh, the most conditioned, I would say. And aside from the size advantage that the other two gentlemen has, of course, in the height alone, I think he is the most muscular. Look at the calves, from the calves to the quads, the hamstrings of course Hattie Schupin has some good legs from behind as well I don't know if his glutes are in the condition and the lower back I don't think it is as tight and as muscular as Bonax 
I think it's a topsy-turvy decision here from the front poses. I think Brandon Curry is the softest when I look at his hamstrings and glutes. And with all due respect, guys, this is your top three at the Olympia. And Brandon Curry, I'm sure he doesn't care about criticism. I mean, he seems to take it okay. But anyway, guys, Bonac. So kudos for Bonac. He battles back. Rear lat spread. Now, this is not is going to be as easy for a victory for William Bonac here. Look at the back on Hattie Shupin. Much stronger in this pose than he is in the rear double by. Not only those thick lower lat insertions, more prominent than Bonax this time. And that was the opposite from the rear double by. But he seems to be much larger, wider. Look at him. He's a Boeing 747 jet. He's probably just as or wider and thicker than Brandon Curry, who probably has maybe the best potential back development. But those glutes and those hamstrings, I am sorry. He places dead last here automatically with me. That's my decision making. And the conditioning between Hattie Shupin and Bonac is close enough that a superior back development will get a first place in my books. And Hattie Shupin, guys, is winning the rear lat spread easily. And Bonac, like I said, takes an easy second place because Curry is just far too soft in the glutes and in the hamstrings. And again, no disrespect, nothing but respect for anybody in this lineup. It's just we're at the top three at the uh, Mr. Olympia guys. And when one guy has more striated glutes, we call the other guy soft in the glutes. And that's probably not the case, guys. Not to mention the calves here, Curry losing in the calf department. Not that that matters to the IFBB judges nowadays. Go to the side tricep, and when we turn back to the front, advantage goes to Curry. Even in the lag department, you can see the uh, definite cuts, separation, muscle separation, and even I detect some glutes here from the for the side. Hmm, so I would say it might be a battle between Bonac and Hattie for second. Well, I don't know. Hattie looks a lot better conditioned in the upper body. Than does Curry. So it might even be a battle between them two for first. And again, poor Bonac, guys. I think that he was awarded a a gift, perhaps, for that uh, second place. I think poor Hattie was ripped off. I honestly do. I can understand if Bonac was winning both of the back shots, but clearly had Hattie Shupin. Fantastic. And in a pose like this, and the side chest, and in the front couple of shots, Bonac was losing them as well. And you know what's next? The ab and thigh. Now, hey, I could make excuses for Bonac all day long. I think he's awesome. I like Bonac. When he wins, I get excited. That's not what I'm saying. Don't misconstrue the situation. If I don't call it like I see it, then I get in trouble. That's my job. I'm not doing my job properly. And Bonac is placing third way too many times. Even if he was winning that one back shot. It's just not enough, guys. It's not enough. And as far as abs are concerned, I think Hattie Shupin not only was ripped off for second, he might have been ripped off for first, guys. From head to toe, he's in better condition than Brendan Curry. More ab separation. And this is Curry's strong pose, this and the front lat spread, in which case Hattie Shupin was probably beating him in that that pose as well, in my opinion. So what does Hattie Shupin have to do? In my opinion, he doesn't have to do a darn thing. I think it was politics. I think he was ripped off. I think he was overlooked because it was his debut. And they figured third place was a gift for them. Who do you think the people voted for? Who was the people's champion? Most muscular. I guess you can't vote on the uh, ab and thigh all day long. Most muscular, much like most of the, or if not all of the front shots. Brendan Curry appears to be the largest, occupying the most space. But as we know, that doesn't mean everything. Hattie Shupin appears to be the hardest. And he's pretty darn large as well, guys. He looks like he's in the best condition, the best muscle separation as far as the pecs, the abs. Best set of legs up there, guys, including the calves. Well, maybe Bonac has the best set of calves, but for what that matters. 
Now, do I even need to say it, guys? It's almost disrespectful at this point to put Bonac in third place, but clearly, guys, he is not in the level of the other two gentlemen, and that's being honest. That's being honest. I'm not a Bonac hater whatsoever. I actually picked him to win this Olympia, and he darn near did win it. Not that I agreed. Here's another most muscular, and this is just another case for William Bonac to place third. He's just much smaller than the other two gentlemen. They appear to be standing right next to each other. It's almost as if that they thought they were first and second, and Bonac kind of thought that he was going to be in third. You never know, guys. You never know. Now, Curry, as far as the arms are concerned, much, much larger than uh, Hattie Chupin's. And uh, I'm not saying it's it's synthal whatsoever, but when I look at the proportions, you see Hattie's delts a whole lot bigger than his arms. Now, his arms could use a little bit more size in a pose like this, but you look at Curry, and at least one of his arms, his delt seems to be half the size of his biceps and triceps, and that's just kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of a funny look. But either way... I think when you combine the first or the both of the most musculars, I might give Hattie the win in this one and a, a clear second place, if not first, for Curry because he is a large, big, large man. And anyway, guys, mathematically, here is how I see it. And I know at least the judges are going to disagree with me. I have Bonac in third, which was wrong. He placed second. I have Brandon Curry in second, which was wrong. He placed first. And you know, Hattie Schupin placing first, in my opinion, is wrong. He placed third. So every single one of these, which I picked, and I'm not just picking these numbers just to be contradictory, I th contradictual, whatever you would say, whatever, however you pronounce that word. Contradictory? I don't know. Anyway, help me out maybe at the comment section below. Anyway, guys, to be more serious here, Hattie Shupin, I think he deserved to win the Olympia. I think Brandon Curry was picked just because he was honestly pre-picked. Could have been. He was the largest man out there, and he defeated the only other guy that they had on the radar, which was probably Bonac. I mean, Roly Winkler was definitely on the radar, but he came in not nearly looking what they thought he was going to look, and... Hattie Schupin, I guess, capitalized, and on paper, that was a big leap for him. But guys, as it materialized, I honestly think that he deserved first place last year. And that's why I continuously say that he is going to win the Olympia this year. And if these three packages come with these three guys, and Phil Heath drops the ball, Big Rammy drops the ball, he could win the Olympia. That's just my opinion, though. Hit thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy it at least. Subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.